Hi, this Sunday is Palm Sunday, and since we're going to be having Palm Sunday separately, the bishop has asked us to gather green things from our yard uh, that he will bless when we gather together for morning prayer on Palm Sunday at 10 o'clock. One of our traditions at Palm Sunday, of course, is palm crosses, and we usually fold those from palmetto leaves that we collect and use to decorate the church on Palm Sunday. So I'm going to show you how to fold those. When you're collecting things out in your yard, you might find something like fig leaves. That's I found some fig leaves in our yard. You might find some big kind of green leafy leaves like this, and you could cut those, um, which I took this one and cut it down and made a long rectangular piece like this, which is similar to what we use uh, for a palm frond. Most of us know these. These are the palmettas and kind of what they look like. Those grow around here in the swampy areas. But when you get those and strip them apart, they make these long kind of spheres like this. And there's rigid edges at the sides that make it hard to fold. And so you can take your fingernail and pull and strip that away. And then you do that for both sides and you end up with something rectangular like this. The one other thing I found out in my yard was some kind of lily things. These are a little shorter. Uh, this is almost like the little grass stuff that grows someplace. So anything green that you want to use in the procession you can use. But let's look at how to fold the palm cross. So starting with one of these, and these are a little yellow uh, this year, starting with one of these, the first thing you want to do, and I'm going to maybe move this over so that you can see the close-up of how this works. Sorry about that. So the way you do this is you start off with your palm and you make a 45 degree bend so that you end up with sort of a right angle like that. Um, See, the palms is folded like this. Okay. Next thing you do, and you can see that this is the front, this is the back. The next thing you do is you fold this around the face like that. And then around the back like this. That forms the knot in the middle of the palm that helps you make it. Now to secure that on the side that is the outside edge, you want that to be good and tight. And the way you make that good and tight is you fold this other piece over the top. That kind of locks that in like that and you slide it back through this hole. You may need to fold the edge of the palm just a little to make it fit in right. You fold that back through. See, I'm sliding that now through. And when you do, let's, let me get this hole so you can see it. As you do that, what happens is that that piece then locks that knot like that so it'll basically hold itself now. The last stages are really just finishing off the palm cross so you can take the part that you just did and you can fold that back through here these are going to make the side arms of the cross and I'm going to fold this one in nice and neat here. So you're making kind of a, like a bow. Looks like that. And once you get, when you get those two even on both sides, you can kind of flatten it out like this. That'll make it look a little bit better. And then the last thing you do, you kind of tighten it up. The last thing you do is you have the possibility there, that opening to pull, fold this and stick that through the top like this until you get the legs kind of equal that you want and squish that down 
And there you have it, a folded Palm Cross. So celebrate Palm Sunday with us this Sunday, and we'll gather together. We'll have just green things that we want, and we'll have leaves and grass, whatever you can collect in the yard. But if you want to fold a Palm Cross, that's how you can do it. And you can re-watch the video if you're confused about it, or you can send me a note and ask me a question. On Palm Sunday, remember, we celebrate Jesus's triumphal entry into Jerusalem with his disciples and all the people there bring out their palms and lay their cloaks along the road to welcome him into town.